orthosis disease what is uh, what do you mean orthosis and uh, prosthesis okay orthosis and prosthesis okay orthosis nothing but <coughs> device used to support an existing part of the body so as to improve the function of the body parts that is called orthosis okay orthosis nothing but uh, artificial device used to support an existing part of the body so as to improve the functions of the body part that is called orthosis in case of this uh, prosthesis in the sense artificial device that replaces the missing body part completely we are replacing artificial one that is called prosthesis in this orthosis uh, we are uh, using uh, the device support the existing part of the uh, body part okay process is completely they are replacing uh, the artificial one device that replaces a missing body part that is called prosthesis okay and uh, process is used to replace a missing limb and to restore or provide function and also this uh, so manufactured by the prosthetist then the replacement of missing organ in terms of function and cosmosis the uh, missing body part that may be uh, functional or not may be cosmos also both the upper limb has posed a major challenge for prosthetics so uh, and the uh, consideration when choosing the prosthesis so all the consideration when you are choosing the prosthesis a level cause of amputation shape of stump expected function the location and hobby of the patient cosmosis the financial resource of the patient this is only a consideration while we are uh, choosing the prosthesis the level what uh, level uh, the person uh, is uh, affected then uh, the reason uh, the causes what's the reason for the amputation then the shape of the stump what shape is needed then uh, what are the functions the patient is uh, needed after the uh, rehabilitation uh, is uh, over what all the functions is needed and the occasion what's the job of that uh, particular patient and uh, hobby also consider then cosmosis whether we are doing some artificial one uh, that uh, may affect the cosmos cosmosis or not or uh, uh, the patient need uh, cosmosis also that also we are considering then financial resource the patient also consider okay uh, the outcomes after the rehabilitation is uh, done this is what uh, there is uh, outcomes is divided into five levels level 0 level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 0 in the sense the patient has minimal ability to walk or transfer safety uh, transfer safely for this person the prosthetics is not of much benefit it's a level 0 the level one is in the patient walks on level ground without much change in pace this applies to those control to home the level two is in the patient has the ability to overcome some artificial barriers and moves around in the society and quite freely at home so level two and level three is the patient is able to travel all over the community irrespective of barriers achieving all functions Level 4 in the sense athletes uh, who perform above the normal demand from the prosthesis and are uh, able to run, climb, or shape. It's level 4. It's, uh, level 4 is as same as the person can able to do the natural uh, uh, one. Okay, so this outcome after the rehabilitation treatment is over. These uh, are the 5 levels. Okay, 0 level in the sense. Uh, is not much benefited by this prosthesis. Level one in the sense walks on the level, uh, ground without much change in pace. That's uh, level one. Level two, the patient may ability to overcome some artificial barriers, move around the society and quite freely at home. Uh, level three, also the person can able to do the, the activities similar to the uh, normal man. Okay, level four in the sense uh, above the normal demand like uh, the person can able to run climb or something okay already we have discussed this level now in this consideration that time also we are uh, need to uh, check what type of level the person is needed after the outcome so that we are consideration then classification of uh, prosthesis 
okay, two types of uh, classifications there that is uh, exoskeletal prosthesis and the endoskeletal prosthesis okay exoskeletal and endoskeletal prosthesis uh, you know from this uh, name itself we can understood exco resins outside endo resins inside okay, is the example for exoskeletal prosthesis okay external okay then uh, exoskeletal the outer uh, laminator cells are doing some process okay exoskeletal endoskeletal inter inter endo in the sense inter so in uh, endoskeletal here inside uh, pylon are using those term is the endo, uh, endoskeletal prosthesis okay so exoskeletal prosthesis gains its structural strength from the outer laminator cell through which the weight of the body is translated. They are doing some prosthesis in outside outer laminator cell so that uh, weight is weight of the body is transmitted. Okay. This cell was usually made of a resin socket which is quite durable or a filter material of wood or foam and the whole prosthesis is shaped to provide a cosmetic appearance of the amputated limb. This is exoskeletal prosthesis okay exoskeletal outside then endoskeletal it gains structural st structural integrity from the inner endoskeleton okay this cosmetic appearance is provided by shaped foam covers slip over the modular components so that's endoskeletal process the advantages are easy of alignment of the components and their adjustments and the ability to inject interchange components by removing the foam cover. Yeah, here the disadvantage is the foam cover is not very durable and need to be replaced often. That's uh, uh, about endoskeletal prosthesis. I think you understood what is uh, exoskeletal prosthesis and endoskeletal prosthesis inside. Yeah, actually, usually power system is what are the power system we are used in this. Uh, 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 exoskeletal or endoskeletal, uh, this prosthesis, uh, this upper limb may be derived internally from the body, body powered or externally powered. For example, myoelectric hand uh, is uh, myoelectric handle, myoelectric hand is the example for uh, prosthesis. In this, uh, we are using uh, myoelectric signal, EMG signal uh, from the uh, body, and we are uh, using some externally powered also, external battery power. So, power is used in this uh, myoelectric hand. In some cases, really cosmetic purpose uh, is only for the cosmetic appearance, not for the function. So, that is uh, cosmetic hands. That's, uh, that in that case, power is not needed. So, we are doing the processes in two uh, reasons. One may be the cosmetic purpose. Another one is for the functional one. Cosmetic as well as uh, functional one. So, in case of this um, uh, functional one distance, in the myoelectric uh, hand, we need uh, some external power, battery power, uh, along with this myoelectric uh, power. So, so, in that case, we need uh, power. Uh, in this uh, purely cosmetic hand distance, no need of uh, power. So, only for the cosmetic purpose, you are using that kind of uh, rehabilitation. Here, then, is some of materials used for the rehabilitation, usually. We are using what all the materials for this rehab process, resin, wood, plastics, fiberglass, carbon fiber materials. These are all the materials normally we are using for this rehabilitation. Resin we are using this which have the capacity of moldability under certain conditions and later hardening to offer the necessary structural stability. So we are using resin and wood as several advantages, the lightweight, strong and easy to work. Uh, nearly a uh, low wood was the most preferred wood because durability and lightweight wood also we are using in plastics increased strength and elasticity uh, but are uh, unfortunately not biocompatible many like uh, polypropylene and uh, polyethylene are durable cheap and easy to mold so plastics also we are using and uh, fiber glass so light and light but expensive and carbon fiber materials also used. These are all the materials um, used for this uh, prosthesis. Okay, resin, wood, 
plastics, fiberglass, carbon fiber material. Now let's discuss about uh, prosthetic hands. Okay, what are the components of uh, this prosthetic uh, hands? It's an image of this upper limb uh, prosthetics. Okay, upper limb, uh, the person's uh, uh, this below elbow was lost. In that case, uh, uh, we are using the, we are doing the prosthesis. Okay. So elbow, uh, below elbow processes is voluntary opening for unscrew. Okay, so what are the components? Okay, in this co components of this uh, uh, below elbow prosthesis or sockets uh, that made of plastics or resin, then body of the prosthesis, then harness or suspension system, control system, and uh, terminal device. For the upper limb, the terminal device is the hand, and for the leg, it's the foot. Then, cosmetic components uh, satisfy the psychological and cosmetic loss. So, these are all the components of a uh, below elbow prosthesis socket, body, harness or suspension system, control system, terminal device, then cosmetic components. Okay, this uh, uh, image of this uh, below elbow. <coughs> Uh, upper limb processes in this below elbow portions. Okay, from this uh, image you can uh, uh, see this harness. Number one is a harness made up of this rubber on harness. Then two is a socket. Then cable system. Three is the cable system. Fourth, uh, Doran's hook. Okay, usually two types of hands are there. This uh, hooks and hands. Uh, functional one we are using these hooks for uh, cosmetic purpose most probably you are using the hand for functional one hooks are best okay so harness then uh, socket number two is the socket then third one is uh, cable system then four door and screw okay now let us see one by one harness okay provides stable support of the prosthesis support to provide attachment for the control cables to help in controlling the terminal device and or the elbow unit through the control cables so about the harness is the harness from this image you can see this number one this part is uh, uh, harness support uh, to this uh, system support this artificial one to this uh, uh, arm okay support system on with so uh, this uh, harness will provide uh, support to the prosthesis and to provide attachment for the control cable okay in this image you can see the control cable so this uh, this cable system 3 is on cable no so connected to this harness okay provide attachment to the control cables and help in controlling the terminal device or the elbow unit through the control cables so about a harness then plastic laminate socket okay the socket is part of the process into which the stump is inserted inside this um, uh, laminate socket there is a stump is there there must be an intimate and comfortable fit between the socket and the stump. The stock of uh, the socket of upper extremity process has a double uh, wall framework made of resin, lightweight plastics or composite materials. Inner wall conforms to the stump and the outer wall provides length and contour of the forearm replacement. The rest unit is fixed into the distal end of the forearm piece. So, is uh, about the plastic laminate uh, socket this uh, number two this uh, socket system this socket insert there is a stump is there and uh, this provide uh, uh, or uh, stump outer wall and the uh, stump length and uh, counter of the form replacement uh, plastic laminate socket then bowden cable uh, cable and control mechanism the okay, control mechanism uh, may be body or externally power to activate the terminal device or elbow these movements of the shoulder and the upper part of the torso and specific and help to talk to the patient when he is fitted with the prosthesis. The movements are transmitted by the 
bounds cable which is attached to the elbow unit and terminal device one of the movements of the shoulder lifts up the elbow unit the forearm piece is locked in a particular position and the next movement to open is the terminal device that's it uh, term, uh, this bounds cables and control mechanism and terminal device maybe a functional or mechanical hand can be attached to the wrist with of most operating the prosthesis and is operated by cable control it consists of a plastic spring control device with the fingers and are controlled by the control cable processes the thumb can be placed manually in either or two positions grabs small objects or large ones only the thumb index and middle finger participate in the pinch so about uh, this uh, terminal device so it's uh, the image of this uh, pearl in prosthesis in this below elbow prosthesis the main uh, parts are the harness socket cable system and rudder screw this the body power prosthesis with the help of um, uh, body power the patient can uh, use this uh, artificial device the artificial one okay here uh, body power prosthesis with the, with the help of a harness uh, the uh the user or the patient is taught and uh, he use this uh, little oil board artificial one okay, so on is a socket okay is there a system is there and cable system is there and the help of uh, cable system you can control this uh, more and screw okay so the patient can uh, use this it's a uh, per limb prosthesis or uh below elbow prosthesis then uh, terminal device uh, uh, this classification is uh, osmotic hand and also the body power hooks and hands are there the externally power hooks and hands are there in this osmotic hands that's for only for cosmetic purpose not for only for cosmetic not for functional then body power hooks and hands all voluntary opening and voluntary closing things are there there the externally power hooks and hands are myoelectric Also, the digital one, bionic arms are there. So, the classification. Then, terminal device classification. This terminal device hands and hooks are there. Normally, for uh, cosmetic purpose, uh, you are using hands. Then, hooks are all for functional one. So, in this hands are further classified as cosmetic, mechanical, electrical. Uh, then, uh, this hand also there is a cosmetic only for. Uh, cosmetic purpose there and also both uh, uh, osmotic purpose as well as uh, the functional is there then hooks are all mechanical as well as electrical then in this hands mechanical are further classified into voluntary opening voluntary closing and electrical are further classified into electrical or myoelectric like that uh, in this hooks also in this mechanical one is further classified as voluntary opening and voluntary closing in the electrical there is uh, electrical uh, closing and uh, myoelectric Okay. Uh, Dor uh, Dorans hooks. The image of this Dorans hooks. The uh, hand as well as hook. Two types of there. No, this functional one mostly are using this uh, Dorans hook. Uh, is for uh, voluntary opening is there, voluntary closing is there. The help of uh, rubber and uh, is uh, uh, hook will operate. Okay. The explanation is uh, given. Is uh, on this Dorans hook. voluntary opening device consists of two hooks which are maintained in the closed position by rubber bands or tension springs and which are opened by the cable system the tensility of the springs or bands determines the maximum tensile uh, force possible the voluntary closing system is just the opposite of the voluntary opening system okay in this the hooks are wide apart and need to be closed manually by the patient's movement transmitted to the cable system The patient closes the device by pulling with the cable on the harness system to grab an object and keeps up the gripping forces force as long as he wishes to hold it. It can be used to grab brittle objects with just enough force that it does not break. Okay. The disadvantage is that the user will have to keep uh, exerting pressure to retain his hold on the object. This is less popular than the Voluntary open devices. This uh, image of this uh, Dorans hook. Then this myoelectric prosthesis. Myoelectric prosthesis. Image of this uh, 
myoelectric process internal components of this myoelectric hand here uh, is telemetric color is there then prosthetic head transmitter external coil implants are there prosthesis controller vestibular link prosthetic interface okay is uh, myoelectric prosthesis from the name itself you can understood myoelectric prosthesis myoelectric myo in the sense electromyographic emg signal uh, this emg signals are picked up from this upper elbow part and uh, that signal is uh, given to uh, the finger and the motor control uh, motor motor control uh, device so this will operate example uh, uh, we, we, are we plan to uh, move this uh, uh, index finger in the sense uh, you are uh, thinking that so that uh, bio signals are uh, given to that uh, uh, finger and uh, automatically that will move. Suppose we are uh, not we lost this uh, below elbow part in the sense that same signal we are uh, we can pick up from the upper elbow part and that signal is given to the artificial one. So with the help of that uh, control from the brain, uh, this uh, this movement will happen. That's myoelectric processes. Okay, myoelectric processes uses signals or potentials from muscles through electromyography within a portion system. Okay, the signals are picked up by electrodes on the surface of the skin which activates a battery driven motor that operates a prosthetic components like the finger. Control of the motor regulates, regulates the extent or speed of the prosthesis such as elbow flexion or extension or opening and closing of the fingers of the terminal device. Uh, myoelectric prosthesis. Okay, myoelectric process use the signals or potential from the what, muscles through electromyography within a person's stump. Okay, so that is uh, given to one minute. Okay, so the signals are picked up by the electrodes on the surface of the screen which activates a battery driven motor that operates a prosthetic component like the finger. Okay. Control of the motor regulates the extent or speed of the prosthesis such as elbow flexion or extension or opening and closing of the fingers of the terminal device. Okay. That is the uh, internal components of the myoelectric hand. Okay. Then there is uh, image of this myoelectric prosthesis. Uh, this internal components are close with the gloves. Okay. It's, uh, and this battery also there for external power. Okay, this advantage, advantages of this myoelectric process is use of natural muscle stimuli. The stimuli then more accurate control with less energy expenditure eliminates the solder harness. In this myoelectric process the harness is not needed. The body power is not needed. The power from the this battery power and also uh, signals pick up from the uh, upper elbow part so emg signals that uh, control okay this uh, de uh, decreased body movement to control processes the myoelectric process provide more mobility pinch force and cosmetic appearance than body power processes this one is uh, cosmetic than the cosmetic than this body power processes here the disadvantages they are very expensive in the event of the breakdown it needs very skilled technical technical uh, backup to repair also they need servicing on a regular basis components operation is noisy and slow energy sources from a battery which would have to be recharged regularly lack of proprioceptive feedback as from the harness is body power system so these are all the disadvantages and also these cannot control fine rhythmic and fast movements there is poor control of co-contracting muscles and poor motor control myoelectric components get dysfunctional in water or around magnetic or electric field then those cosmetic uh, protective gloves get dirty very easily so these are all these are my disadvantages uh, in this myoelectric uh, process so we are using gloves that uh, gloves may you know dirty so we need to uh, change that one then myoelectric components may be dysfunctional. Um, 
uh, we need uh, specialists to uh, rectify that one and also poor uh, what control of uh, and also motor control and uh, maybe noise may occur for this motor uh, controlling then so these are some uh, disadvantages of this uh, uh, myelitic processes and advantages also there okay conversion is cosmetic appearance than the body power and uh, uh, decrease body movement to control process. So advantages are there and uh, some of the disadvantages are also there in this uh, 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 myoelectric process. So I think understood today's class today I have discussed about orthosis and prosthesis. What is my orthosis and I discuss prosthesis and uh, I discuss about uh, the consideration of uh, choosing the prosthesis and we have seen the outcomes after the rehabilitation is over, what are the uh, different uh, levels of outcomes there? I mean, I will discuss uh, what is the zero level, first level, second, third, and fourth level. Then we have seen the classification of process in this exoskeletal process and endoskeletal process. Two types of process there: are exo outside and uh, endo, in the sense inside. Uh, 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 so we have discussed what is exoskeletal process and endoskeletal processes and. Uh, what are the power system used and materials used, are used in these processes or resin mold plastics and fiberglasses carbon fiber will be discussed and i have seen this uh, prosthetic hand what are the components of prosthetic hands and this body power process there is socket body or a uh, suspension system control system terminal device cosmetic components and research and upper limb prosthetics there is what are the uh, part of this uh, Upper limb prosthesis, harness, socket, cable system, and so on. And we have seen about uh, uh, different uh, type classification of terminal device. And we have seen the classification of terminals and Doran's group detail. And uh, well, we have discussed the myoelectric prosthesis. Myoelectric prosthesis. We are here, the, we are pick up the bio, uh, EMT signals from the upper elbow part, and that signal is given to the artificial one. Now the help of this uh, battery power also the motor will rotate and control uh, given from the EMG signal.